Good morning. This is Pastor Ramsey coming to you live from New Life Tabernacle, located on 69 West Landis Avenue, Vineland, New Jersey. And I'm coming to you from my office again. And uh, I want to share something with you. Uh, uh, first, I'm going to read a verse of scripture out of, out of the Bible, out of Matthew chapter number 12, uh, beginning with verse number 46. While he was still talking to the multitude, behold, his mother and his brothers stood outside seeking to speak with him. Then one of his disciples said unto him, Look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak with you. But he answered and said to one who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And he stretched out his hand towards his disciples and said, Here are my mother and my brothers, for whosoever that doeth the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother. You know, sometimes we, and we have friends, and um, we, we all need to have friends, and we love our, our relatives and our, those that are, are around us. But uh, one thing that we, we need to look at is that sometimes friends will, will fail us. And David, uh, one of my uh, key scriptures here, is found in the book of Psalms, chapter number 73, verse 25. David, who had went through many, many, many things, and many of his own men had even turned against him, and at one time they wanted to stone him. Uh, David writes this verse of scripture in 70, uh, chapter 73 of Psalms, verse 25, Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon the earth that I desire besides you. Out of the Jewish, uh, one of my Jewish translations, the scripture um, reads like this. Whom do I have in heaven but you? And with you, I lack nothing on earth. In other words, the Bible says Jesus will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. And sometimes, uh, e even the ones we consider our best friends, sometimes let us down and they fell us and they turn. And uh, David realized this is the one thing that happened within his life. But the one, the one thing he did realize is that Jehovah would never fail him and that he would never let him down. And it caused him to write that scripture whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon the earth that I desire beside you. And, and with you, I lack nothing. I have everything. Because God, you are my everything. And I know one thing. In my good times, in my bad times, you'll never leave me. You'll never forsake me. Another verse of scripture found over in the book of of Hebrews um, chapter number 12 and verse number 2. Paul writes, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Friend, let me tell you something. If we can just remember what Paul said, looking unto Jesus, and instead of looking all to all them that is around us, we can love our relatives, uh, we can love our friends, and it's we, we all need friends. Um, and the Bible said, if you want friends, show yourself friendly. But we need to understand that Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. We need to understand it doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter how ugly of a, of a, of a time we may be having. It may, may not, it may not matter, and it doesn't matter to God, uh, if that day we got up and we, we started off with a bad attitude. Uh, we, need to, we need to start our day with Jesus Christ. 
But sometimes there's just some things that comes within our life that that kind of causes us to to be hard to be loved. But Jesus is one that loves us in any circumstance, any problem, and it doesn't matter. He will always leave uh, love us, but he'll never leave us nor forsake us. If I can leave you with this thought, understand uh, what the scripture was saying over uh, David said, whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon the earth that I desire besides you. God, I know one thing. In my darkest hour of life, in, in, in my deepest of despair, God, you're there. You're, you're not only the God of the mountains, but you're the God of the valleys. You open the fountains in, in the desert places, and God, you'll never leave me. If I could say this to you today, if, you, if you'll just keep Jesus Christ on your mind and with inside your heart, if, if you'll just uh, take and communicate with him during the day, Paul said, pray without ceasing. Always talk to him. Ask him his opinion. He's there to help you, and he's there to bless you. And it's this time that we're living in, let me tell you, we all need to look to the author the, and the finisher of our faith, and that is Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you right now. Father, there's some that's watching this devotional. God, that's going through hard times. God, they're, they're going through financial difficulties. They may be even going through sickness. They may have lost somebody that they love. But God, we can turn to you because you're, you're the author and the finisher of our faith. Who else do we have, like David said, but you, God? And you're the only one that I'm going to really desire and I really want to serve here on earth. God, I'm going to look to you every day. I'm going to talk with you. I'm going to praise you. I'm going to highly exalt you, God. For God, you are the God, the author and the finisher. And matter of fact, God, you're everything in between. I pray, God, to touch them that's watching, encourage them, bless them, lift them up, and allow them to see that you're right there with them, and you, you'll see them through any obstacle that may come against them. You'll see them through it in Jesus' name. God bless. Have a great day.